In this video, I'm going to show you three things that all of us can do for free to protect the environment. You might already be recycling, you no longer use plastic bags. The thing is, climate change is a huge global problem that cannot be solved with small individual actions alone. But there are changes we can all make in our lives, which collectively could create the structural change needed to build fairer, more sustainable societies. Coming up. The first thing you can do to help the climate is to switch to a green energy provider. Fossil fuels are the single biggest contributor to the climate crisis. By switching to a green energy provider, you don't just support the development of renewable energy such as solar or wind. You also send a strong political message that the use of fossil fuels belongs to the past. But pay close attention to energy providers that claim to be green. In Germany, for example, hundreds of providers are selling green energy but only very few actually reinvest their income into increasing the country's renewable energy capacity. So they're actually making sure that the country's energy mix is becoming cleaner. Let us know in the comments, where are you based? And what are the best truly green alternative energy providers that everybody should switch to wherever you are? Second, take back control of your money. When it comes to saving or investing money, there are many ways you can influence the future. Some of us have the means to donate to organizations that are doing good. That's an important contribution. There are many organizations that depend on donations and do great work for the environment. But to have a structural impact, we should all have a closer look at how the money in our bank is being invested on our behalf. Here's how bank accounts roughly work. Your money is not kept in an iron vault. Instead, in order to make profit, your bank borrows the money you leave with them and invests it into stocks, into bonds, and other stuff like that. The problem is that most of the time, these investments are not ethical or transparent. A report by the Rainforest Action Network, published in 2021, shows that in the last five years, the world's largest banks have poured almost 4 trillion US dollars into fossil fuels through this type of investments. And while some banks are being successfully pressured into divesting from fossil fuels, instead they are now expanding investments in companies in high carbon food and commodities tied to deforestation. That's your money actually supporting the fossil fuel industry and deforestation. You can change that by simply switching to a more ethical bank. Check the description for some of our recommendations and let us know if we missed any ethical bank everyone should know of. Finally, the last thing you can do to help push forward structural change without spending any additional money is experimenting with plant-based recipes. Some of you might not want to hear this, but it is estimated that meat and dairy are responsible for about 25% of the planet warming greenhouse gases we release each year. The animal industry is also one of the driving causes of deforestation. That's because of the crazy amount of land we clear worldwide to make space for cattle and the food to feed those animals, mostly cows. Plant-based food has a much smaller climate footprint per gram of protein, it doesn't involve animal cruelty, and might even help prevent future pandemics. If you're interested, we've linked two reports in the description so you can get started on your own research on the topic. And there you go. Those are our three tips to help create pressure to bring along some structural change to our societies. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on how to navigate the era of climate change.